Hello there. Welcome to Deliberate Christian Life. My name is Dumininu Makoyawo. Today on Deliberate Christian Life, we'll be talking about a topic that seems rather controversial, and it is God is not the only blesser. But before I go on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. And please, at your leisure time, you can check our website, www.deliberatechristianlife.org and also our Facebook page, Deliberate Christian Life. So back to the topic, God is not the only blesser. We've heard about the issue of blessing, blesser, blessee, you know, and man happens to always be on the receiving side where we always want God to bless us. Even though we have reduced the issue or what blessing is to material gifts of having a car, having a house, or even getting a better job and all of that, or being healed, you know, God is not the only blesser. Before we go thinking, what is she actually saying? We were made in his image and likeness. So we have God inside of us. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms, ye are gods. So if God blesses us, we can also bless God. Just as we are able to bless other humans. So how can we bless God? When we receive blessings from God, he increases us. He makes us better. He makes us greater. But when we as humans bless God, we don't make God better. Because God is the best version of himself. We can't make God better. We can't make God greater than who he is. He is who he is. The Bible calls him the I am that I am. So unlike the way it is with humans being blessed by God, when we bless God, we are actually eulogizing him. We are praising him. We are thanking him for all that he has done, all that he is doing, and all that he will still do for us. The book of Psalm 103, starting from verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. So I'm asking you, when was the last time you also blessed God? Even if it's just in return for all he has blessed you with. And you need not wait for you to say until I receive this from him. Because even at the moment when you are not acknowledging that he is blessing you, he is still blessing you. If you are alive, then you are a recipient of God's blessings. You're a recipient of breath, the breath of life. You're a recipient of health. That you even have a drive to chase after your daily pursuits means you're blessed. So it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We get so many benefits from God that they have become normal to us, and we don't even know that they are blessings anymore. He forgives our iniquities. He heals all our diseases. He redeems our life from destruction. He crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Please go ahead and read Psalm 103. It is time for you to bless God. God is not the only blesser. You are also a blesser. Bless the Lord. Bless your fellow men. Bless those who love you. Bless those who hate you. Bless those you know. Bless those who you do not know. I trust that from this that you have heard today, you will become a blesser. Have a blessed day, a blessed week, and may your lifetime be a blessed one. In Jesus' name. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.